Fox 12's Most Wanted took off after hitting and seriously injuring a blind woman's guide dog. Now that woman is begging for that driver to come forward. Here's a photo of Tiffany and her dog Sapphire. The hit and run happened Tuesday when both of them were in a crosswalk right by the Clackamas Town Center. Fox 12's Bonnie Silfman shares her story. Awful news to share tonight. Tiffany says her dog is left with brain damage because of this hit and run. The dog also might lose one of her front legs. What's more, she will no longer be working as a seeing eye dog. The owner says she hopes that driver who took off is watching this tonight. She says she not only lost her partner because of this, but a sense of her independence. She was taking her, her step out to guide me the rest of the way. And then she was gone. She was just gone. In a split second. I heard her crying out. The life of Tiffany Taylor and her seeing eye dog Sapphire changed forever. Somebody had hit her and uh, they, they just kept going. They didn't stop. They, didn't, they just hit her. It happened Tuesday night at this crosswalk in Happy Valley. She was hit so hard they knocked her out of her harness, which was buckled into her. It was around 630 on Southeast Monterey Avenue. All you had to do was stop. Accidents happen, they happen, I know they do, you just had to stop. Tiffany's brave golden Labrador is alive in the hospital, but Sapphire is left with brain damage and may lose one of her legs. On top of everything, her days of guiding Tiffany are over. She, she won't be a guide anymore. They've already told me she's, she, she can't after this experience. They don't know what her path will be, but it won't be with me. Tiffany's close friend is hoping to adopt Sapphire since the dog now needs special care herself. She's my door to the world. A world that's now much smaller for Tiffany. Not only did she lose her partner and best friend, but her sense of independence. It's going to be a very small world for a while. For now, Tiffany is getting these messages of love from the kids she works with at this YMCA. Children who hugged Sapphire every day. And they drew all these pictures helping her to get better. It's been very hard trying to explain to little kids, you know, why she's not here. It's a question Tiffany herself wants answered, and she wants that driver to turn themselves in. She leaves us with this message tonight. Just slow down, you know, you're gonna get, I've been saying it all, all week, you're gonna get to where you need to go. It's, you don't have to, you don't have to hurt someone to get there. We want to thank Tiffany for being so brave and speaking with us tonight. And she says she is now relying on friends and her cane to help her get around. She says it took up to two years because of a long waiting list just to get her guide dog. So she might have to start that process all over again. She is in contact with guide dogs for the blind who trained her dog Sapphire. They are helping her figure out what comes next for both her and Sapphire. For now, reporting in Happy Valley, Bonnie Silkman, Fox 12 Oregon.